Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. But I hope you'll come along too, so let's go. Today I thought I'd do an energy read for everybody. So uh, we're really going to concentrate our thoughts, uh, clear your mind, uh, put some of yourself into this reading, uh, decide what's important for you. This will be one uh, uh, Celtic cross uh, for you today. Let's do it. So for this um, energy reading for you today, uh, I thought I'd use this pre-Raphaelite tarot from... Um, Los Carabillo. It's, they're really uh, beautiful cards. I haven't had them very long. I've used them a few times, uh, but uh, I just pulled them out last night to kind of uh, sh shuffle through them while I was watching television and realized, wow, I should use these more because these are great cards. Um, I'll show you again uh, what they look like. Uh, the pictures on these cards go right to the edge, which I, I kind of like that. And uh, the back of the cards are also very beautiful and mysterious. And uh, that kind of gives you a hint, if you're looking at the card from the rear, whether it's uh, upright or upside down, because upright, you see these peacocks are, are looking at you correctly, and of course upside down, everything is in fact upside down. So, I don't know, that's a little thing that I like to know about cards, I don't know that it's even useful at all, but you can see that the pictures are very vivid, the colors are really pop, and um, I think, uh, why haven't I used these cards a lot more uh, since I got them? So... Uh, this will be an energy reading for you, and the best thing that you can do to move this thing along is to right now just take a deep breath, let it out, decide what it is that you hope uh, is going to gain some clarity for you in this reading, and uh, and just uh, move your mind to that. Uh, really free up some space. Let's see if I can come and I can tap into some collective consciousness that um, that draws some energy from you right now. Remember, it's your um, intuition. It's your psychic um, knowledge that's going to help uh, decide if what comes out here is useful to you. So really, really, really concentrate. I mean, even stop this, this tape if you need to and take a minute to just still yourself, just still yourself and decide... Um, how uh, this reading is going to bring you some clarity. That's what I hope that we find here. Okay, so we're going to cut the cards and then we'll spread them out and look for some meaning for you today. Six cards to begin with. These are really beautiful just spread out. So this is going to be one, two, three, Four, five, and six. Okay, that's the, the first part of that Celtic cross. We'll get the last four out of this stack to help uh, finish that uh, divination. So we've got six cards here. We're going to look for the clarifier. What is the signifier for you today for this energy reading? The signifier is the devil. So the devil tells us that, um, you know, this is when we're following uh, the, the, the least um, uh, of our intentions. Um, and, and it's easy for us to do that every single day, every single minute. Uh, we're making a choice as to what we're going to do, say, think, feel, even what we're going to hear, believe it or not. And, uh, and so let's attune ourselves to looking for taking the higher road, today at least, rather than the path. Um, that is indicated by this uh, devil card. Okay, now the challenge to that is going to be the Three of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. The Three of Pentacles speaks to um, you know working together to to bring something of value that we're going to show to our public. Um, what can that be? It can be just be your appearance today. It can be some project that you're working on. It can be the children that you're raising. Um, but let's uh, uh, make this challenge of, of putting something forward of value for a whole the world to see um, the challenge to following uh, lesser intentions. So that's what we have here today. The basis of this reading then 
is going to be the King of Pentacles. And there's no way, better way to, to uh, align yourself with the best intentions possible than to realize that you are the master of your value. It's you. You own this. Uh, and do that. Embrace it. Just like this king is embracing this uh, prized pinnacle that's all framed up here. And um, be um, uh, inspired to to put your best self forward with this wand. So the, the king of pinnacles is the basis of this reading. It's you. You are the basis of this reading. The uh, recent past for this then is the queen of cups. And uh, perhaps uh, this has come into your life. The Queen of Cups, you know, are, are passion, emotion, um, uh, uh, compassionate uh, thinking. And the Queen of Cups is very much in charge of that. She's guarding uh, her compassion uh, very carefully here, not to spill one single drop. And uh, it looks like with these cherubs uh, and this beautiful setting, that this Queen of Cups has somehow brought you to this point. Okay? You have to decide uh, how that works out in your life. But the aim, the sky for this reading, then, oof, is to put down. The, the Ten of Swords is just a hard stop. It's the end. It's putting down, those, in this case, these uh, ill intentions or these, these uh, not uh, noble um, uh, strivings that we may have. So the sky for this reading is to stop it. You know, put a halt to those things which are just killing you and you don't even know it they're, they're damaging your spirit they're damaging your soul you are the one who has the power to end this you alone really the likely outcome for this first part of this energy reading for you today is the five of swords and the five of swords is kind of uh, some like to say an abuse of power it's it's feeling as if um, someone or something has really taken advantage of our strength. We have the folks here in the background really running off, running away from this challenge presented by this Five of Swords. So I would say that this is really knowing where uh, that is taking place. Where is that taking place? Take command of it. Now the self for this right now, you, your innermost self right now in this reading is going to be Let's see. Let's take that from right here. This is going to be the self of this reading. It's the Ten of Pentacles. Well, of course it is. The Ten of Pentacles is, is everything of value that you ever thought you should have and could have and, and deserve. And um, so you've got to give yourself the true value that you're worth. Let's face it. If you don't represent all the value within yourself, who will? You know. So this is the self. This is what you are. This is what you have to be. You have to represent every single thing that is uh, worthwhile in your being. Now, the challenge or the environment that that's in, I should say, is going to be a tower moment. So if you're experiencing or if you're worried about or if you're um, dreading uh, just the very worst that can happen uh, because of this or because of this or because of this, then you have to face it and understand <clears throat> that while you're in this environment, you are the one who's best suited to carry through it okay so we may be in the environment of this terror moment what is that terror moment for you only you can decide i can't tell you what your terror moment is or what your fear of a tower uh, moment is but you have the value to power through it the hopes and the fears then for this reading the hopes and the fears are the four of swords and the four of swords tells us to know when to stop and take a break Okay, you have to uh, reinvigorate uh, yourself through rest, through contemplation. Uh, don't uh, put so much uh, time and worry into these piling up bills, this coin that you're trying to collect. Uh, be uh, ready to defend yourself if you have to get up all of a sudden, but don't do it if it's not absolutely necessary. Take the time to reflect back on what's occurring and uh, this can be your biggest hope is that you you find within yourself the strength to do that and then the uh, final outcome of this for you in this energy reading today is going to be the world 
you know, that's a terrific outline. This is a, this is a brand new start. This is a new beginning. This is going all the way around with the, just the very best of intentions and opening yourself up to opportunities that are endless, endless if you'll recognize them. So I really love this reading for everybody today, this power reading, I'm going to call it, this energy reading um, for you on this day. Oh yeah, that was a very good reading. As a matter of fact, there were cautions in there, and of course there are cautions in there. We have to be, we have to face uh, what it is that we're afraid is going to happen, or that is happening, <clears throat> and that we're not sure how the, what the outcome is going to be. But we started out, we start out like so many of us, you know, with our lesser intentions, and it's easy to go that way. It's so easy to go that way. But you have to realize that you possess uh, what it takes to build something that's worth uh, representing you in the world, and um, we come to the self of you are the value that you need. It's all in you. It's that, that you make the difference. Um, don't worry about the tower moments. Just worry about getting through them. Take time to understand uh, what's going on and, and go forward at your peril because you need to take a beat. As urgent as it seems to get moving, guess what? Whatever that is is going to be there when you decide to face it. But Take a minute to understand what you're dealing with, and the journey that you're going to start is going to be well worthwhile, well worthwhile with this new understanding of who you are, what you can do, because you can do it all. You're the only one who can do it all. So take the strength of this card and start your journey uh, all over again. Well, I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. I hope it's been uh, useful for you. Um, and if you're not doing anything tomorrow, come on by. I'll be here. We'll take a trip together and um, see where it leads us. So, ciao for now.